Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the engine knee skin. This is their wing skin C6 knee skin. They have several different knee skins varying in price and this is their top one. I have the color Fire and it just has orange taping. They also have a blue one called Atlantic which is a gorgeous royal blue and that one also has orange taping. And they also have a black one which they call Charcoal but it looks black to me on the screen. Um, and that one just has black taping, so it's just an all black suit. This suit feels a lot different than my Speedo knee skin that I have been using, but that one's like really worn out now. <laughs> Compared to that one, this has amazing compression. Like, I thought the Speedo one was really cool and the compression was awesome, but this one is like 10 times the compression, and I didn't even know that suits could be that compressive. This suit compresses so much through the thighs and also in your torso it really compresses and I have tried on a closed back knee skin before and I did not like it it was a pain to get on because there was nowhere to hold because there was no hole in the back with straps to pull on and also I could not bend over I was like how do you expect people to do starts in this and I could I literally could barely bend over so this one is not as open backed as other knee skins but it is open but yet it's more closed. There's only a very small hole on your back which I think is really cool because it really makes it more compressive around your waist and also around your shoulders or at least I feel like it helped with the compression because my other suit it was the same back style as like a fast skin so it was just a thin strap across the middle and it came really far down near your butt so it didn't really help with like waist and back and shoulder compression because it was such thin straps whereas this one is really thick and I f really feel like it did help with compression. I could feel the difference. My Speedo knee skin is a size 22 and I wear a size 26 practice suit so I went two sizes down for that one but this one is a size 24 and it fits really well. It took me 20 minutes or so to put on so it definitely fits really well but they just run a little bit small. Taking this off was so surprisingly easy. My sister was doing a race and I wanted to change out of this because I was done and it was really tight and I was like, oh, I want to get it off. And I ran in the locker room. I had like three minutes maybe and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this off it that fast. Because compared to my Speedo, that one takes like at least five minutes or more just to get off. This one took me 20 minutes to put on, but yet it pulled off of me so fast, it was just whoop, off, I got dressed and I like ran out for her race, but I was so surprised at how easy it was to get off. And I don't know why, because it wasn't really hard to get on. The seals on the legs aren't as tight as my Speedo. The seals on my Speedo knee skin were really, really hard to get on. I would flip them up to put on the suit and then when I went to flip them down I would run my fingers along it to get it untwisted and in position. And it would be so sticky from the silicone that it would rub and burn my fingers. Kind of like a, a rug burn. Whereas this one, the seals are actually just as tight as the rest of the suit. It's not like they're twice as tight. And yet they were easy to flip over. They weren't so tight that they turned my toes blue. So this suit was actually really comfortable. I feel like Speedo made the seals around the legs way more tight because it didn't have as much compression through the thighs. So it's kind of like it wasn't enough and then it went like cut off circulation. It was so tight. Whereas this one is just more even compression all around the suit, which I absolutely love. One thing that isn't going to make me not wear this at all but it doesn't have the comfort straps that my speedo suit has and even arena and like tyr they don't have those either but i'm kind of spoiled because the speedo was my first knee skin and i was like all oh, these comfort straps are amazing <laughs> i've heard that the reason most other companies don't do the comfort straps is because you do lose some compression right in your chest i think speedo is way ahead of the game there because none of the other brands are doing that yet and i absolutely love those and this suit doesn't have those either, so this is the first knee skin I've worn that doesn't have the comfort straps, and I got pretty bad rub marks from it. And um, I know a lot of you guys on my JoLynn video were telling me to get a glide stick for the rub marks, and I still haven't gotten one yet, so I was borrowing my friends like all through the meet. I'm like, I need more, I need more. <laughs> I really need to get one of those. 
The glide stick really works though. So I need to get one. You guys really need to get one. It's absolutely amazing. Almost like a deodorant stick shaped lip balm. Sort of. It does come with a little bag to go with it. My speedo suit came in a box with no bag. And like the arena ones and I think the TYRs also come with a bag. So the speedo one was kind of unusual because I was like, well, where do I put it? Because I didn't actually have any special bags for it. And I didn't want to snag it on anything so... I would kind of wrap it up in my towels at meets just to keep it really safe, but this bag is really awesome. It's really thick, and it's really small too, so it really keeps this compact. The fabric difference is actually really interesting. My Speedo one is a lot thicker, and maybe they thought that... <laughs> Why are you making so much noise? What is that? I think Speedo thought if they made the fabric thicker, it would really help with compression. But that's not the case. This suit is a lot thinner, and the fabric actually feels lighter, and yet it has way more compression, and I think it might just be because, one, the back is not completely closed back, which I didn't like, but it's almost closed so that it really helps with compression all around, and they put taping everywhere. There's taping around the butt, there's taping on the legs, there's taping in the middle of your back. The taping goes all the way up your sides. It's absolutely amazing. I really feel like that helps keep it super compressed, but yet the fabric is really light, so it just helps you slide right through the water. I dropped six seconds in my 200 breaststroke wearing this swimsuit. Of course, not all the credit goes to the suit, because I'm really a believer in the swimmer makes the suit, not the suit makes the swimmer. But, <laughs> I did drop a lot, and I haven't dropped in that in a while, so I was really, really excited, and I felt really good in the water with this suit on, and I think it might just be because of the extra compression, and it was awesome. I didn't know compression could feel this way until I actually wore this suit, so when I had my Speedo, I didn't know what I was missing out on. I could just feel everything compressing, and I felt like I was just sliding through the water, really fast and this suit just really made me feel amazing in the water. And I found nail polish to match the tape. Look at that. <laughs> Engine gave all of you a coupon code to use. If you guys enter Swim Life Guru in the discount slash coupon box at the checkout, you'll receive 10% off your order. The link to this suit and engineswim.com will be in the description box below if you guys are interested. I absolutely love this suit. I am definitely going to get another one when this one wears out or maybe a new version that they come out with. But I absolutely love the design, the compression, the material of the suit. It's I love it all. I would recommend this to all of you guys. This is definitely a hot item. I know I have some Australian viewers out there. So let me know in the comments what you think of this suit. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say hi to Meetsy. She doesn't want to be on my lap right now. Hey, baby. Do you want to get down? That was a yes. <laughs> Bye! This is their wing skin C6 knee skin. Uh, which key is it for the gate? Bye! Continue! What? Oh, continue. And then this one is their pink one and they call it Fire. Everything is interrupting today through the. the, the, the I said literally like five times. I highly recommend it to all of you. This is definitely a hot suit. If you enjoyed it and I was like, oh, yeah. I'm just gonna start over.